y'all welcome back to my channel where we talk fashion and beauty for women over 30. if you're a woman over 30 and you enjoy fashion and beauty subscribe and also click the link down below to sign up for the email list and become a member of the crew today we're going to talk about trendy outerwear pieces that you can transition into your spring wardrobe the best thing about buying these pieces right now is that everything is going to be on sale for the most part the pieces i'm going to show you today are going to be all under a hundred dollars probably all under 75 dollars and the good thing about that is you can wear them immediately you also are going to be on the current trend even though you just bought the items and then a lot of outerwear at this time of year is going to be on sale because of this transition between seasons that we're in so now is a good time to buy pieces that are trendy so that you don't feel like you're overspending on something you may not get the most wear out of because it's a trend so that's why i wanted to focus on that type of outerwear today and as always everything that i mention and show is going to be linked down below so if you want to go click those links and shop for anything you see in today's video feel free to do that everything's always going to be down there for you guys we are going to start from short and go to long so i have a few pieces that are shorter pieces and then we have some more traditional full length types of outerwear pieces that we're going to look at as well i'm not going to be necessarily showing you how Ooh, what was that i'm not going to be necessarily showing you how i would style these particular pieces i'm more so today focusing on just the outerwear pieces themselves so that's going to be the main focus and to keep everything simple for you and for me i'm just going to have on a black simple turtleneck top black jeans and black booties so you have a solid silhouette and then on top of that is where i'm going to be featuring the outerwear pieces we're going to look at if you guys want me to do how i would style these outerwear pieces with full-on outfits and how i would pair everything together just leave a comment down below and then I can do that video for you. The first piece we're going to look at is a moto jacket. I love motorcycle jackets. I like the way they provide a lot of practical use because they do actually keep you warm. You can wear them on top of sweaters. You can also wear them on top of dresses. So you have that versatility. But at the same time, they are trendy pieces and you can find such good faux leather pieces for affordable prices nowadays. This first one being one of those. This jacket was $49.99. And I think I showed this, I think I showed this briefly in my H&M haul. That's where this one came from. But it's lined. So you do, again, get that practical warmth wear out of it. And I do like the zippers on this one. And this one has a little bit of this, like, um, how, how, how would I describe this? It's kind of like pebbling. So it's not a smooth type of leather because I think sometimes when you're doing the faux leather, if it's too smooth, it looks too shiny and silky. It looks like synthetic hair that you get from the from the beauty supply store. So you can kind of tell that it's fake. Whereas when they have this little bit of distressing kind of pebbling to it, it looks more authentic. It looks more like genuine leather. So I like this one a lot. The, this one has some style elements to it. I like the crossbody effect of the way it zips if you do want to zip it up. You also have a lot of room to play with the collar with this one, so I do like that as well. And it's just a nice staple piece to have in your wardrobe, but at the same time, it's trendy because a motorcycle jacket in and of itself is trendy. This is not something that you can wear to church, to work, and out on the weekends. You know what I mean? So it does have that trendy element to it. I like the zips on the sleeves here as well. It's just a cute little jacket, you know? So keeping in line with the short jackets, I have a traditional blazer. When I say traditional, I'm speaking about the cut of the jacket. This blazer in and of itself is a traditional cut. However, the trendiness with this one comes into play when you look at the pattern on the blazer. This is a really bold print, a really bold pattern, but it does have elements in it that will allow you to style it a lot of different ways across your wardrobe because it has the tan the black and the beige in it you can still wear this with other solid colors so it's not too out there in terms of the color but the pattern itself is what gives it its edge and it's a really it's it fits really well and it's kind of well made i'm surprised because it did not come from zara i'm gonna say that most times when i find blazers that i really really like they're either super expensive or they came from zara zara makes really good blazers this one has a little bit of length to it and it also has the buttons in the front that are kind of like double breasted. So you get a really nice effect with the length of it. And then that adds this element to it where it looks a little baggy, which is more of the current trend. So it's not going to be a super fitted blazer where it's cut to your waistline. 
but this is going to give you a little more of a baggy look without being super baggy. Like, you know, the trend is in now for, I feel like younger people, they wear stuff like literally just hanging all the way off their shoulder down to their elbow. It's not that kind of a bagginess to it. It just gives a little bit of an oversized feel to a traditionally cut blazer. And this one was $34.99. It does have full pockets, so you're not going to get the benefit of having a full pocket. But I don't think that matters that much. Um, let me see. Let me make sure it doesn't have a real pocket. Is this a pocket? Hold on, y'all. I'm not sure if that's a real pocket. <laughs> I'm scared to take the stitching out because it might not be a real pocket. But I don't think it matters that much. Either way, I think it's fine like this. I don't think you have to have the real pocket on something like this. But I like this so much. You can wear this with turtlenecks. You can also wear it with v-necks. And you can wear this with um, just any kind of crew neck sweater underneath. It's going to look good with this also. As long as it's thin enough that it doesn't puff out your sleeves underneath here. This one was $34.99. So like I said, these are all going to be super affordable under $75. And this has a little bit of a shoulder pad inside of it. It's not major. So what it does, is just going to give you a little bit of structure. It's not so much of a shoulder pad that it's going to make your shoulders look broad. Um, or anything like that and it's not so much of a shoulder pad that when you look at somebody in the blazer you say oh that has shoulder pads in it it just gives the jacket a little bit more structure okay now we're going to get into some longer length more traditional um, length coats this next one i really really like this most of all because of the color i think it's such a unique color it's like a pearl cream you know how you can see a car and it's white and then you can see a car that's silver. And then you can see a car that's like pearl. It's like in between. That is the feel that I get from this coat. It's like cream, but it has this like, I don't know, almost like pearliness to it. And it's because of the fabric. This is suede or like a faux suede. So I like that a lot about it. This one also has a lot of detail to it. Um, the cut of it is, I just... I love the cut of it. I like the way it belts. I like the way the back kind of drapes down. It just, I don't know, gives you like this cape effect. It's just a real nice element to it. It also has these detailing, detailing, these details right here on the shoulders, um, which just add a little something to it. I like how floppy the lapels are. So it looks kind of casual. You don't look super buttoned up and tight like you kind of do in a more traditional, um, a more traditional like trench coat where it kind of looks very formal these lapels being as loose as they are makes it less formal and much more playful and casual i like the length of the sleeves as well it just i just like the whole thing <laughs> and then i like that they have these pockets that are kind of at a diagonal so that also adds a little something to it this is just a real this is a nice ass coat this was $59.99, so $60 for a coat like this. The color of it obviously is going to make it super spring appropriate. The cut of it is what keeps it trendy. So this being as lightweight as it is and colored as lightly as it is, is going to carry you all the way through the spring season. So if you're in those climates where you're still going to be definitely needing something to put on top of what it is you're wearing because of the weather, but you don't need a full on overcoat, this is going to be a go-to. Very very cute i love it it just looks like patchwork this might be my favorite one y'all all right this next one is absolutely trendy i know some of y'all gonna be like i'm not wearing that but just hear me out just hear me out it is a puffer jacket puffer jackets have made a comeback this year like oh child they everywhere they got all the bright colors. They got patent leather. They got leather, faux leather. I mean, the puffer coat is just everywhere, but you can make it work and not look like you're trying to jump onto a trend. This is how you make it work. The jacket itself is the trend because it's a puffer jacket. But what you want to do is get a solid color. If you are not bold enough to go out and do something like um, there's one that I saw that what's her name? High low Lux did on her channel, which I love it. It's like a real shiny patent leather. It's real like mace and puffy in the nineties, you know, video is real shiny like that, but it's like this Royal blue. So it's like, boom. I mean, it's like, you can't miss it. It's super oversized. It's super puffy. 
and it's very very long if you are not going for something like that if you're not bold enough to wear that i get it but you can still enjoy the trend just get a solid colored puffer jacket like so and get one that's not super puffy so you don't look like the michelin man so this one is going to still serve its purpose it's practical still is going to still keep you warm it still is lined it still is a puffer jacket so it does what they do but this one is very simplistic as far as the styling elements of it it's just got a long zip from top to bottom i mean from bottom to top like any other traditional kind of jacket that you're going to throw on the length of it does give it a little bit of something because it's not going to hit you right at the waist like most kind of throw on jackets are this has more of a trench coat type of length to it so for me i'm kind of short but it hits me down further on my leg so there's that and then it has a little bit of a mock neck so it's going to come up to here so if you really do need to be wearing this for the purpose of keeping yourself cold keeping yourself cold jesus keeping yourself warm in colder temperatures just zip it all the way up it looks totally fine like that and then one other thing that i like about this is it has these um like drawstrings at the bottom i don't know if y'all can see these like this so you know how sometimes you could be outside and it's cold and that wind can like whip and get underneath what you're wearing you can tighten this up at the bottom if you want to so you can pull these tight so that you have more of a snug fit down by your leg and if you don't want it to fit like that if you want it to look very kind of straight um, at the bottom you can just pull it back out like this so that it's not going to be tight so you have a little bit of versatility but this one i like a lot it's black so you can't go wrong it's got the pockets they're very practical as well they have zip pockets on them y'all i don't know why i keep looking over there today the ring light is messing with my eyes i think i'm getting old so anyway <laughs> you have a zip pocket and when it's zipped do you see how you can't even tell you see how you can't even tell that is zipped it has a really um nice streamlined kind of look the jacket overall looks really streamlined and real simplistic it has a nice line it has a nice lining oh my god it gives you a nice line from head to toe when you're wearing something that's cut like this they said originally this was 148 dollars. i did not pay 148 dollars. i paid 59.99 so 60 60 dollars again under $100, actually under $75 for this one. Very trendy, spring appropriate. Y'all are going to ask, so I'm going to go ahead and tell you. I just curl my hair normally today. You see? Get on her face. I just curl my hair normally today. I just pulled it down a little bit here and made it a little more spiky in the top. Y'all see my little struggle side still trying to grow back. And the lipstick is Ruby Woo by MAC. And the lashes are lily lashes in rome and these are just the ones that i happen to like most of all i've tried the other ones and i like these because i know y'all are going to ask me so that's what i have on the foundation is ysl Longwear foundation just fyi you know just thought i'd throw that in there sprinkle that in there a little bit i don't know why i'm out of breath today and before i even show y'all this coat I know it's wrinkled, okay? I know it's wrinkled. I know it needs to be steamed, but my steamer is a little baby steamer. I don't think it could handle this, and I feel like ironing a coat. Can y'all just, like, give me a pass today, okay? I know it's wrinkled. However, comma, this is going to be a more traditionally cut trench coat, but what makes it trendy and spring ready is the color. I love the color of this. You see it? Isn't it pretty? It's like a pastel pink slash lilac. It has a little bit of that purpley kind of hue to it. It is so pretty. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. It is a really nice coat. So let me walk you through some of the details of it. First of all, it was only $49.99. So $50. Again, under $100, under $75. And it's super like durable it's lined and it does have this fabric that it's not like a raincoat but i can tell that it's probably water resistant 
Like if you get caught in a little bit of a shower, it's going to be fine. If you have this coat on, the water's going to roll off of it. But it has some weight to it. So this is like a legit coat. And these little things, I just really like a lot. So it has these little clasps at the neck. Let me see if you can see them. So those clasps allow you to get more coverage up here. So again, if you're in a climate where you really do need to be wearing this, not just for style, but for practically covering up like in a real way, you can definitely use that little clasp and get more coverage. So I thought that was a really nice design element on a jacket that's this affordable. It also has the buttons inside and it has the traditional trench coat button style in the front. So it's going to button all the way down. And then I do also like that it has these little elements on the shoulder, which just gives it a little more something so it doesn't look so plain. And I also really like the belt. I think the belt is well done in that the width of it is perfect for this kind of a jacket. And when you button it up and then you also fasten the belt and you, you fasten it and tuck it very neatly, it looks so nice and so put together. This is the traditional type of trench coat that I was saying you get that more kind of buttoned up feel, business type feel that you didn't with the last one, that kind of beige one with the loose lapels. This is the more traditionally cut trench coat, but again, the color is what's going to keep it trendy. And then on the belt buckle here, it has this little almost like tortoiseshell type of vibe to it, which I think plays really well with the dark colored buttons that are on it. Because at first when I saw it, I didn't like that the buttons were so dark because the color is so light. But this kind of plays into it and pulls the whole thing together. So really, really pretty. Very, very nice. I like this one a lot, a lot, a lot. We have another one here in this kind of beige color. This one was $59.99. And again, the color with this one is also going to keep it trendy in terms of spring. But this also has a really nice cut to it that I think makes it a little different than your regular standard kind of outerwear piece. I had this in black also, but I ended up taking it back in black because they didn't have it in my size. I had a medium and I just, the fit of it was like real kind of bulky because there's kind of a lot of fabric to this cut. So I didn't like that and I took it back, but I had this one also in a small, which fits much better. I'm still trying to find a black one in a small and I, I think I found it online. But anyway, this is just a straight cut coat. It's long. You've got the sleeves here. And you see that even though this is a small, there's enough space in the sleeves that I'm not going to feel so bulky when I put maybe a turtleneck underneath this or maybe even a blazer that's more fitted underneath it or a chunkier sweater. It has enough space in there that I can layer with this, which is also really nice. And I do like the detailing on these pockets as well. It's similar to the last jacket in that it has like a diagonal cut to it instead of just kind of your straight pocket, which I think is cute. And then when you have that black up against the lighter um, like beige or tan color, I think that's really pretty because it gives it like a pop. So this is kind of what I call a throw on jacket because you can just, when you like, oh, it's kind of cold outside, you can just grab this and put it on. And this goes on top of so many different things. It's just a real regular schmegular with a couple of little cute design elements to it coat this one also does have the one button in the front so it's not going to give you as much of a i don't know snug fit because it just has the one button and it already kind of has a loose type of fit to it it's not um cut to like taper in at the waist or anything it's very kind of boxy almost but with that one button you can get a little bit more of you can get a little bit more shape out of it if you go ahead and button it up but because it just has the one button, it's kind of casual in that sense as well. This is very much like you could tell it's just a throw on. I needed to grab a jacket really quickly. This was the one that was at the door in the coat closet. So I just threw this one on. Real nice. It's going to carry you through spring for sure. And this one compared to like the suede one, the faux suede one, this is bulkier. This has more weight to it. The suede one is lighter, so on those days when you don't need as much on you to stay warm, you can definitely go for that one. But if it's a little bit cooler, you want to go for this one, I would say, because they're in the same color, fa color family. So you can probably switch them out in the sense of which one you need more coverage from that particular day. But this one is definitely more durable. It's got a heavier fabric to it. So I would say that's the only difference. And that's why I included both of them, because they do have their differences. So another really cute trendy 
affordable powderwear piece. Okay, y'all, I hope you enjoyed that video. Watch the others that are going to pop up on the screen for you guys. Remember to subscribe and also click that link down below to become a member of the crew. Also, we go live every Sunday from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. So feel free to join us over there as well. Remember to live well and look good doing it. Until next time, y'all. Bye.